Hey, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can create a skewed symbol made up of rings and circles. So to start with, I've got my document here. My artboard size is 3000 pixels wide and 3000 pixels high. And I'm going to select my ellipse tool over here. Left click and hold shift to draw a perfect circle. And make sure you have stroke and no fill selected. So then we're going to go over to the stroke palette and I'm going to increase the weight to, let's say, let's say about 30 pixels. I'm going to select the box here that says dashed line. And I've got the dash set to zero and the gap I've got to about 65. And you should see something that looks like this. Now with our shape selected, we can change the cap to round cap. That's the one in the middle and it will create a dotted circle. I'm going to bring this down a bit in size so we can left click any of these corners and hold alt and shift and it will drag towards the center. And then I'm going to select object up here and go down to expand appearance and then object expand. Make sure that fill and stroke are selected if you need to do it again and just click OK. So if you now press Command D on the Mac or Control D on the PC, you should have something that looks like this when you're viewing it in preview mode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our dotted circle and just drag from one of these corners and hold Alt and Shift. I'm just going to bring it up a pinch and then we're going to go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place and do the same again. So hold Alt and Shift and just drag out from the corner. And we repeat that last step. So edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And we'll just bring that up a little bit more. So hopefully you should have something that looks similar to this. And you can adjust the sizing, bring it up and down, change the, the, the gap between each of the dots as you like but hopefully you should have something that looks roughly like this. And then once you do, you can select everything and go up to the Pathfinder palette and select the top left one, which is Unite. And that will just bring it all together in one path. So now if I drag, try that again. There we go. So if I drag, it now is all recognized as one path. So now we're going to add some color. So with our shape selected, we can go over to the swatches palette. I'm just going to click this little arrow in the very top right. It just changes the view, makes it a little bit easier to work with gradients, I find. So for this, we're going to use a blue. So I'm just going to drag this down into the gradients palette to the right. And then I'm going to pick a blue and drag that to the left, something like this. Now you can see what it's doing is it's applying that specific gradient to every single circle individually. And we don't want that. We want the gradient to flow from the lighter blue on the left all the way through the shape and finish with the darker blue on the right. So what we can do with everything selected, we just need to go up to object down to compound path and select make. And what will happen is it will turn all of these individual shapes that aren't touching each other into one complete compound path. And the Illustrator will treat any swatches that we apply to the composition as a whole rather than applying it to each individual element. So let's select make. And there we go. We've got the light blue on the left and it flows through to the darker blue on the right. Now we could leave it there if you're happy with that. But as this is a tutorial where we're going to skew the symbol at the end, we're just going to finish off by selecting our shape, going up to Effect, down to Distort and Transform, and then select Free Distort. So now we've got our shape completely undistorted in this preview window. And if we just drag this top left anchor point to the left, just make sure you drag it perfectly straight as well. And you do have to do a little bit of this by eye. And 
and you can distort it as you like. Let's try something, something like this, and we can click OK. And there we go, it will apply the distortion. Now what you can see here is it is only applying this as an effect. So actually, if we press Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC to go back into preview mode, it still shows our shape looking like this. And you can see the free distort that we've applied down here in the appearance palette. So you can go back in and you can edit this if you want, or you can delete this effect altogether. Although it doesn't seem to have deleted it there. Huh, very interesting. Maybe you can't delete it. That's a bit of an inconvenience. But either way, if you want to finalize this shape, you can undo and go back a few steps if you want to get back to this shape. But if you're happy with this shape and you want to commit to it and you don't, you're not interested in kind of making any more changes to this, you can select it, go up to object, down to expand appearance. And there we go. When you view in preview mode, it will show you that this is your final shape and it will no longer appear in the appearance palette on the right hand side. And there we go, we've created a skewed symbol made up of lines and circles in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, I hope that was helpful. Please leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.